I'm happy now with my face side and my thickness. The thing to concentrate now is the face edge. The face edge is marked at the tail of the face side. We'll mark him later on with a V pointing back towards the face side. I also need to look at the grain direction. I've got to plane this edge, but to look at that grain direction the correct way, look at the face. I can see the grain actually is going slightly uphill. So if I plane from this end, it'll push the grain down nicely. If I were to turn the board around and plane from the other direction, it would snap the grain off and that would cause me problems. So I'm going to set this up in the vise. That's now the right direction for me to plane and push those fibres down. But I also need to see how square or out of square this edge is to my face side. I always use engineer's squares. They stay accurate for years and years. I don't find that wooden carpenter squares stay accurate for very long at all. I need to reference my stock of my square against my face side. That's always our reference or our date and face to be working from. So I'll come down to here, place him on that edge and draw him down. I can see I've got light through this side, so it's, it's low. I will have taken more of the left-hand side. I've got the same there and the same there. The good news is it's not in twist. It's just it's high along this edge. So I'll mark that with a pencil. I've got to take a lot more off here. And I'm going to have to take more off here later because I've got to remove some of these saw marks. Again, my plane, I think, was set fairly fine from before. I've got to take some heavier cuts, so I need to probably reset my plane a bit. Slightly further out. Again, this plane has still got a cambered blade in there. Because I really want to use the flatness of that plane sole. If I had a totally flat blade, I'd either have to try and almost rock that plane over onto its side, which isn't good, or I'd actually have to adjust the lateral adjustment lever so it's more out this edge and taken off that high. The way I personally do it is I will use more of a cambered blade that was in there. It's only a slight camber, but I'll get that camber so it sets in the middle of the plane. If I bring my plane to the left-hand side, it'll take more timber off the left-hand side. If I take that plane further over to the right-hand side, it'll take more timber off the right-hand side. That means I can get my plane blade set up pretty much once and I can take timber off depending whether I want to go left, middle or right by just physically moving my plane over where the high spot is.